Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another video. Um, today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to show you guys how to clean up um, your computer with a bootable CD slash USB application um, because most really infected computers these days uh, you can't clean up by trying to install software on them because there's some infections out there that are so nasty that you can't install anything. So you have to use something that's bootable. So what I have here is um, I have a clean machine and uh, I'm just going to show you where you have to go to get the software, how do you install it, and you know so forth and so on. And then I'll infect the machine and um, I'll, uh, I'll show you how to disinfect it using the software. Now um, this might be a two or three part video, it might be even longer than that, so we'll just see uh, what we can do here. I got my uh, uh, network card started. The web address, if I remember right, is sarducd. dot it. Uh, this is an Italian uh, company, or uh, not company, software. Um, now, what I'm going to do is because this is written in Italian, I'm actually going to go to Google and. spell that wrong and I'm going to where's the translate okay it might not translate it for me usually there's a little translate thing here but okay whatever um, so we're just gonna download it here and we're gonna download the program um, I'm just gonna download it off of their softpedia Mirror. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to save it on the desktop. And because this is a dot RAR, um, and I don't have anything on this machine, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpack it on uh, my host PC because I have an unpacker and then I'm gonna swing in and bring it back into the virtual machine should have picked a different mirror this thing's running slow yep. probably should have picked this one that's almost at the end anyway so just gonna have to wait it out And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so I'm going to show you guys how to create uh, an ISO image and also a bootable USB using the same piece of software. Um, that's really nice, especially the bootable USB, um, because you don't have to worry about wasting a CD. So I'm going to swing it out of here. Uh, maybe. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so as you can see on my host PC, I have it opened up. I'm going to make a new folder here. For it. And then I'm going to copy everything. And put it in that folder. This might take a while. If it lets me do that. It might not let me do that. Okay, so I'm going to actually come on, let it go. Okay, I'm going to do this on the other way because for some odd reason it just won't let me drop it in there. So I'm going to create a new folder and there we go. So, you open it up, drag it in there, and then I'll put it back on my virtual machine here. Come on. This thing's being really annoying right now. Hold on here. Let me give me a second here. 
Okay, so I had to restart my virtual machine because something screwy happened. But anyway, I got it back on the machine right now. And as you can see, these are the uh, documents that are associated with the um, the program. Now, uh, if you want to run the program, you just run the Sardu. I guess that's how you say it. Um, exe. And it's not an installer or anything. Now, let me show you around the program here. First, you're going to want to change the language. So if you go here at the top, that's basically language in Italian, and you can change it over to English. Then you can just close the program out. You can see it creates a language file. And there you go. Okay, so some of the stuff you have here. You got these tabs at the top. For some odd reason, I can't make the window bigger. Um, maybe that's something they can think about putting in later. But you have antivirus, and you can download uh, all of these bootable ISOs. You have utilities. Uh, you can download whatever you want here. You have Linux, if you want to download some Linux suites, and some Windows suites. Now, um, how do you download these? It's pretty simple. If you click on one of these, let's say you click and you want, uh, I don't know, Bitdefender. If you click on the Bitdefender title, it opens your... Uh, default internet browser once I actually get connected to the net and it'll take you to the place you need to go to download uh, the ISO so like I was saying you click on Bitdefender it opens up Internet Explorer and it takes you to the rescue CD um, this rescue CD is right here it says Bitdefender rescue CD uh, it's a dot ISO and what you do is you uh, download it and you save it and you save it to the ISO that's originally in the Sardu um, folder. This ISO folder here, it says right here, put your ISOs in this folder. So I would save it right there. So you double click it and I would save it right there. As you can see, it would actually go in here. Now, because of course this is gonna, it would take a while to download all these because it's multiple gigabytes of information. Um, I already have them downloaded because I've been using it and uh, I have all the antiviruses downloaded, I have a couple utilities, um, I don't have any Linux, and uh, I have Ultimate Boot CD for Win uh, downloaded. Now, when you download Ultimate Boot CD, you don't download an ISO. That's not how it's made. You actually download the program, which is 255 megabytes, you install it, and then you make an ISO with the program, if you so choose on using that. So what I'm going to do to show you what it looks like uh, when you do have those, I'm just going to grab it, drag, drag it in here, and I'm going to copy everything from that original folder. So you can see all the ISOs that I have in here, including you know Ultimate Boot CD um, and everything else, you know Kaspersky Antivirus, all the CDs are in here. So when you open up Sardu again you can see that all have check marks by them. This tells you that they've been downloaded and it sees the ISOs. Okay, you can see that right there. And you can only pick one of these. That's why they're in little brackets. You can't pick more than one. So you can pick Live XP, uh, Mega Lab CD, whatever you want. I like Ultimate Boot CD for Win, so that's the one that I picked. So, seeing as it's getting to the end of that time, I am going to uh, stop this video and I'm going to start video 2. So I'll see you in video 2.